I searched for a video that would show me how to snake a toilet. I really didn't know how to do it. I had the snake, but I didn't know how to do it. So many videos assume too much. So especially for you ladies out there who wonder how to do it, I finally figured it out, so I decided to make my own video for you. So here we go. The hardest thing about using the snake is that you have to get it, and I'm trying to get a good shot of the under part of the toilet because my toilet actually shows the anatomy, so to speak. You have to get the, t the snake to go down here, all the way up, and all the way down. And the length of the snake will let you do that. So this is actually the good toilet that's working, but I could get a better shot to show you where you're going to move the snake. And now I'm going to show you how I figured out how to get the snake to work, because it's, it's not easy. I will admit it. I don't like these low flush toilets, but now I found out how to use the snake, and because so many times the plunger just doesn't work. So when you start out, when I hang this on a hook in my garage, I've, um, let me show you how I usually hang it. It's typically all the way open. So the thing is, you want to pull the snake back so that this coil piece is the only part showing. This plastic part protects the porcelain of the toilet from getting scratched by the metal. So the first thing you, you want to do is pull it back and then set it inside the bottom of the toilet. So you've got this plastic part protecting the bottom of the toilet. So now the hardest part is pushing this coil all the way down to the handle. So the handle ends up here on top of the plastic through that whole part of the toilet that I showed you um, swirls up and down and around. So it takes some practice and if you're learning how to do this for the first time, you might want to practice on a to toilet that's working fine just before you have an emergency, especially if you have a one bathroom home or apartment. So first, you want to push it again. You can see it even takes me a little bit of time to get going. But finally, I get it all the way down to where the handle is at the top, the bent part. So that means the snake has gone all the way through the toilet as far as it can go. Then you want to twist the handle one direction. Then you can do it the other direction. And what do you want? All right. Then you don't want to pull the whole thing out. You want to keep the plastic part in and pull the handle back and pull the metal snake out, keeping that plastic inside the toilet to protect the toilet bowl from getting scratched. You pull it all the way back, then take the plastic part out and flush. Sometimes you get success right away. Everything's clear now. But if it doesn't clear, if you still have a problem, do it a second time. Do it a third time. Again, just make sure you have the plastic inside the toilet to protect the toilet bowl from getting scratched. And then the hardest part is getting this metal piece, the whole metal snake, to sneak its way through the toilet. Then turn the handle when you get all the way down and turn it the other way. Keep the plastic part in, pull it back, pull it out, and flush. So hopefully this has shown you an easy way to learn how to snake a toilet properly. Please practice this. I wish I had before I had a problem and really needed to use it. But it really works so much better than a plunger on the low flush toilets.